Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Jamaica's Cavalier FC are atop Group A in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup Championship after turning back AC Port of Spain of Trinidad and Tobago 2-1 at Sabina Park on Thursday to register their first win of the competition. John Mauro Calvin put Cavalier in front in the eighth minute before Christopher Ainsworth extended their lead in the 60th. Duane Muckett had pulled one back for Port of Spain in the 71st minute. Now with the win, Cavalier moved atop the standings in Group A with four points. They drew one all with the defence force also of Trinidad in their opening game last Thursday in the Twin Island Republic, while Port of Spain had lost 1-0 to Mocha FC of the Dominican Republic. The first and second place finishers from the group will advance to the knockout stage. At the conclusion of the competition, the champion will qualify uh, for the 2024 CONCACAF Champions Cup round of 16 with the runners-up and third place finishers entering at round one. Now with visa and other travel issues dogging the JFF when sending teams overseas, General Secretary Dennis Chung is insisting that plans are already in place for Canadian visas for the Reggae Girls Return Olympic qualifying game in Toronto. Chung says the JFF is already in discussion with the relevant ministries and the Canadian High Commission. Put a rule in place where we need to get a list from the coaches at least four weeks in advance of any game. Because when you think about it, Karen, as a lay person, and you apply for a visa, you're not gonna get for months. Mm -hmm. So we are working with a period of about three weeks to get visas for everyone, and therefore we have to rely on the goodwill of the embassy and also the ministry, I mean, Olivia Babsy Grange and Kamina Johnson-Smith have been really very supportive in this. Back to the field of play, Harborview and Mona will battle Constant Spring and Cavalier in the Kasafa under 15 and under 13 finals, respectively, after both gone to victories in their respective semi finals on Thursday. Through a hat trick from Davian Clark, uh, well, that guided Mona to an emphatic 8 0 win over Waterhouse at the Constant Spring field. Clark netted in the uh, 26th, 30th, and 70th minutes, and uh, they'll next face Constant Spring in the final. In the under 15 and Counter Harbor View, well, they booked their spot to the final after beating Battling Cavalier. Well, they clipped Mona 1 0. And Zahir Doza scored the winner for the Young Stars of the East in the 37th minute. Mona will play Constant Spring at 2 30 p.m., while Harbor View will face Cavalier in the under 15 and Counter. Both matches will, will be played on Sunday at the Constant Spring field. Some cricket now defending champions, Jamaica Talawas suffered their second defeat of the Caribbean Premier League season after losing by six wickets to the Barbados Royals in their encounter at the Kensington Oval in Barbados on Thursday evening. Sent to bat, the Talawas posted 160 for seven of their allotted 20 overs. Shamar Brooks led uh, a recovery for the Talawas after they were reduced to 23 for three in the sixth over. Brooks cracked seven fours and four sixes in his knock. Now he got good support from Imad Razim, who made a 33 of 24 balls. Captain Brandon King could only muster one, while Englishman Alex Hales, in his first game for the Talawas, made 12. And Jason Holder took two for 19, and Case Ahmed two for 42 for the Royals. Now, in reply, the Royals coasted to 161 for four of 19 overs to achieve victory. They were led by Alec Athanas, who scored his maiden T20 half century in making 76. Laurie Evans also chipped in with 30, while captain Jamaica's Robman Powell ended on 10 not out. Australian spinner Chris Green took 2 for 21 for the Talawas. The Talawas, who are fourth in the standings with five points, will next be in action on Sunday against the Trinbaganite Riders also at the Kensington Oval. Now, Racers Track Club head coach Glenn Mills says inexperience played a role in Sprinter Oblique Seville not meddling at the recent World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Seville was edged out in, in fourth by a thousandth of a second after he was credited with the same time as the silver and bronze medal winners Letzele Tibogo and Zarnel Hughes. Mills hailed the sprinter's showing but said his youthful exuberance got the better of him despite registering 9.88 in the final. I think he hurt his chances by running so fast in the heats and um, based on the fact that he missed so much training leading up to it, if he had done it in the reverse, I, I, I'm, I'm confident he would have won but 
um, such a thing you gain from his experience. Um, if he had is 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 um, at the tape, if he had leaned forward correctly, would have come a clear second. So um, it's one of those things. But he's getting better every year. Don't watch the foot position. He's getting better every year. And if he has a a, a, a season that is free of injury or so, um, he'll eventually get a medal. And that's where we come across the line for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Ashane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Ashane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon. Thank you.